What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our July 18th Fisher Report for the Jersey Shore. Guys, uh, we finally heard back from Ronaldo Mole, so sorry to whoever was in second place for the month of June. <laughs> You're not winning anything. Ronaldo got back to us. Ronaldo, we will get your uh, prize in the mail ASAP, but uh, it does take a little bit for the design, the hat to get shipped out. So expect that sometime late July probably. But uh, And then our current July leader is Ron Schlesinger, which is Ron, I'm so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna butcher your name all month if you stay in the lead. Ron's got this 23 and a half inch uh, fluke right here, guys. Listen, if you want to enter in the contest, it's real simple. Just uh, send us a picture of your fish uh, next to a tape measure, and you gotta catch it in the state of New Jersey, and it's gotta be a fluke. Uh, and that's that's about it. We can hit us up on our text line, uh, Instagram, Facebook, email. I think yeah. that's about all the options. Uh, and I think uh, I think that's all the. Um, pre-report talk we have for yeah the, so then i'll dive into my right. report seems like it was a quieter week i maybe the weather has i just say i can't i can't blame anybody for not yeah. wanting to get out on this you know nine thousand degree weather day so or you know weeks so we've yeah had, right uh, <laughs> but, also it doesn't help that the water temp is early right, way right. up too but either way we got a couple reports so i first i have jason wilk he was uh fishing the surf in the long branch area he was set up an hour before sunrise he was throwing throwing sp minnows and the white waters and rips he landed 25 inch striper a 16 inch fluke and finally a nice 30 inch striper jason said once he saw the sun the bite was dead and it, it, it was off the rest of the day uh captain andy uh, with riptide bait and tackle shared this report from caleb who landed this striper fishing the back bays of brigantine and john guile was out uh fishing the great bay near the intercoastal waterways when he landed one keeper in several shorts he was using minnows interesting to see that the uh saw so many stripers around you know, yeah, right guys going after him so that's good all right, I got no stripers. I got all fluke. But I got Bill Fisher. I was able to get out in the Great Bay in less than favorable conditions. He said even with the gusty south wind, he was able to pick up several shorts and one keeper. As always, he's using spro bucktails and gulp. Bayside Dave got out on the Great Bay with Tommy Venom and Dennis Monaco this week. Uh, they had to pick through several, uh, through tons of croakers, but were able to catch five nice keepers. And they were all on live killies. Uh, then finally, I have an honorable mention here, uh, since he didn't send in a picture. Uh, Bernie, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but Bernie Bashida was able to get out last week also in the Great Bay. Uh, he said it was a slow day for him. He was able to pick up one 18-incher. Uh, the main reason I kind of wanted to mention Bernie uh, here in this report, <laughs> that he had a picture, was the fact that Bernie also mentioned the amount of croakers that are in the Great Bay. We've had, uh, I mean, just I think almost every person from the Great Bay who sent in a report has said that the croakers are in, in the Great Bay in a great way. Uh, so if you're looking to uh, go catch some panfish, if you enjoy doing that out in the Bay, or if you have some kids who you want to you know, guarantee they're going to catch some fish, head out to the Grassy Channel in the Great Bay, put on some squid, some uh, clam, or you know, heck, you can even probably chunk up some pieces of gulp and put down your hook uh, and then just have a great time. Or also, the same token, if you're looking out looking for fluke, Make sure you got plenty, plenty of bait because those croakers will annoy the snot out of you and you're going to keep switching out those gulp. But uh, I think that is all we have uh, for this week. So, guys, uh, listen, I know it's hot, but get out there so we can have some reports. We can continue sending you uh, uh, these, these, these uh, uh, videos every week and uh, send them in to us. And we appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Good luck, guys.